Hey everyone, welcome back to the Dark Forest for the next episode in our Let's Play series. So we're now into August and we're just on our way to the sawmill to sell a load of logs that we had lying around from the end of the last episode. Our oats are ready, ready to harvest so we can get on with our first harvest here on Dark Forest once we actually buy a combine that is. So that will be probably one of our first jobs we'll be looking at doing is getting the combine. Uh, before we do that though, we have a load of trees that I've cut down and cut up into 5 meter lengths that I want to get cleared out of the way first and sold. Uh, that way it will give us some more money towards the combine, header, grain trailers. Uh, we're also going to need a silo to store the crops in as well. So if we can get all those logs sold first, it should give us plenty of money to get all of that. So we'll head over to the clearing and we'll continue getting these logs loaded up and sold at the sawmill. But as you can see, I've cut down quite a few trees. And some of these, these ones I think mostly are left over from last time. And these ones I've cut down to the right hand side of our shed just to clear a bit of space there potentially for putting the silo in so we can then store the crop. So I say we'll get all these sold so they're all out the way and so that should then give us plenty of money probably way more than we'll need to buy all the equipment. But then we'll potentially have some uh, some money that we can then use for putting towards upgrading our forestry equipment over the coming winter. Okay, so we'll probably get one more log on this load and then we'll get these ones sold. And then we'll uh, I'll continue with these and get the rest of them all loaded up and sold. And then we can head up to the store to get our combine and get our first harvest here on Dark Forest done. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to squeeze any more on there. Just get that stop there. So possibly I could get one more or a few more from this side. Now we'll leave it like that. We'll get these sold. As we've drove up here, that front trailer's <laughs> got less and less on there. As it's kind of evened out. I think we could have really... A few more on both of them. I don't look anywhere near as loaded up as they could be. Well, that's another 8,961, so we're up to 77,651. So, yeah, I'll go and finish getting everything loaded up. And we'll get all that sold. So, that will then give us plenty of money, so we might have a few options of what equipment we could get uh, when we head up to the store. Okay, so all the logs have been loaded up and sold, so we're up to $115,861, which should be more than plenty for what we need. Although we do have quite a lot to buy, but I'm sure we'll have a fair bit left over as well. So we'll go into the store and we want to get our harvester first. So the one I'm going to go with is the John Deere. 7700 by Tired Iron Modding. So it's a decent size, it's 9,100 litre capacity grain tank and it comes with a 6 meter header so uh, it's not a bad combine, it looks nice and it's 37,916. So we'll buy that one, we'll say we'll leave everything else standard. Uh, the next one up is the TR series by Tired Iron Modding which start at 56,000 which I think I don't really want to spend more than 40 on the combine at the moment because we've only got those two small fields to do. So we'll get the header for that and we'll go for the 220, which is a 6.1 meter. And we'll keep that as standard as well. So that's another seven and a half thousand dollars. So we're down to 70,000. Are we going to get a header trailer and. Uh, I'll go with the, the Deutzfahr one 
because that's a six meter header, so it should fit on there. Hopefully it'll lock on that fine. Uh, we also need a organ so we can load the silo I want to get. So we'll go with the versatile from BC Beulah. That's two and a half thousand dollars for that one. Uh, while we're here as well, we'll get a bale spike for the skid steer so we can load up the bales. And we'll also get a bucket as well. We'll go for this one, but we'll put it in black. That's another $1,300 for that. And we also need a gravity wagon or trailer. I think gravity wagons probably our best option. So we'll go with the parker, same as what we had on Silver and Forest. I'll keep everything else the same. I will just get one of these for now. I don't think we'll need more than one at the moment. Uh, just trying to think if there's anything else we need while we're here. Uh, we could get the rollers, which is 3,100. I'll keep those blue. So we've got a set of rollers now. And I think... I'm pretty sure now that's everything we should need at the moment anyway. So we're still left with 53,745. So we will need to get a couple of silos as well. So we've got somewhere to actually store the crop. But there's our new combine and header. So we can now get our first harvest done here on Dark Forest. So I'll get everything back to the farm. And then we can start harvesting the oats well, I've got most of the equipment back from the store we just need to go back down at some point and pick up the bale spike and the bucket for the skid steer so what we'll probably do with that is put the skid steer on the back of the low loader trailer and drive it down there so we can load those up let's get our header connected And our combine fired up and we can start our first harvest here on Dark Forest with a nice field of oats. And just make, go on, go on. make sure we get the straws off as well so we can bale the straw up. There we go. So we'll, we'll need to build the silo and we can do that once we've finished harvest in the field and then we can get the oats put into into that the one I want to build is a flat bottom silo that you can only put one crop in at a time so it's got a decent sized storage capacity but we will only be able to put one crop in uh, keeps things a little bit more realistic so we'll use the auger to load it into there and then when we come to do this organ we'll have to put it into a second bin Uh, but for now, we just need to get the oats all harvested. So we've just gone 95% full on the combine. I don't know if we'll quite make it to the end of the field. We might just a bit short. So 97, 98, it's going to be close. 99, will we get to 100 just before? Or no, 99%. So we are literally six litres off being full. So we'll get the auger out and then we'll go and grab the gravity wagon uh, 
And we'll get the combine unloaded. So our first was it 9,094 litres of oats. I think we're going to get past that way. <laughs> we walk into the uh, header. There's uh, first uh, oats going into the gravity wagon. I don't think we'll quite get as much again. I think we've done more than half the field. But we should get another few thousand litres of oats. I say that we don't need the oats for anything. So we'll sell the oats when we get to a better price coming up over winter now one thing we do need to do though is put a sell point down so we can actually sell some products because at the moment there's nowhere to sell anything other than wood on this map so next time we're up the store to pick up the skid steer tools we'll build the self anything container and that literally does take everything so it'll at least it'll give us somewhere to start with until we get some more sell points built to actually sell some pro produce from our farm. So yeah, I'll get the rest of this field finished and then we can get the silos built and get the oats into our silo. Last little bit of oats to do, and that's our first harvest here on Dark Forest Complete. So we'll finish filling up the gravity wagon as much as we can from the combine. Then we'll go and get the silo built so we can load it into there. So we can get that switched off. A very very nice combine especially for the price as well and it's a decent sized grain tank i can't complain too much about it and six meter work with is uh, not too bad either i'm not sure if there's a corn header that fits this combine in particular i didn't actually check that so i'll have to see if we can find one if there's not one available So we'll finish filling this up and so then we'll get the silos built. I'm going to build both of them now. So the one we'll need for the oats and then one for the sorghum. So it's ready for next time. Then we'll just need to set up the auger so we can actually fill it. So that's the gravity wagon full with 11,277 litres. Uh, we also need to get those hay bales moved at some point. Um, which may be a job for next time. Because uh, I want to build another she uh, shed or shelter that we can store bales in. Um, may need to clear a few more trees for that. Because I want to put that more to the left hand side of this shed. So if we just stop that there. And I will... Jump over into build mode. So I cleared the trees. There was about four or five trees in this area that I cleared out the way just so we've got some space for the silo. And the one I'm going to go with is the Meridian um, BC Beulah. So this is a silo um, that you need an auger for. So we'll need an auger to unload and fill it. I don't want to come too close to the building. I'll leave a bit of space. But I do want to come roughly in line with the building. So sort of over there. So if we bring it out to about there, I think that'll be plenty of space. So we'll get the first one in. 
which we'll do for oats and then we'll leave a slight gap we don't want to get them too close together so just make sure they are lined up and we'll get the second one in there so now we've got somewhere to store our oats and sorghum so we'll just do a little bit of decorating around them not too much though because this is uh, going to cost a fortune so we'll just extend this out a little bit over to there then we'll just put a bit around so we can get round to the back to unload and a bit round the front as well so I will add some more textures and we'll tidy all this up but because it costs quite a bit of money it's going to be one of those things that we'll leave until we've got more money so that's our silo built or silos so if we jump in the small John Deere we can go and get the auger get that set up and then we can get the gravity wagon unloaded now we could also do with getting a pressure washer as well soon because our equipment is starting to get a bit dirty uh, we also could do with getting a workshop or at least a workshop trigger point built in the shed or a separate building so we can start repairing our equipment as well at the farm and the I think I mentioned in the last one as well the fuel stations not too far away so the gas station is just up there um, but it might be handy to get a uh, gas tank at the yard as well so we don't have to keep driving all the way up there Let's get this auger set up. So we'll just do it, we'll do the first bin or the nearest one to us with oats and then the next one can be used for the sorghum when we harvest that next time. If I bring this round and then we can reverse up to it. So we'll also get a smaller auger to unload these bins with at some point but we don't need to worry about that until a bit later in the year. I'll we'll get that extended. Let's see. I always find these difficult because it's always so difficult to actually tell how close you are. That's a little bit too much. Raise that up a bit. Well, I think that should do. If we just go and open the lid on that, we can find where the trigger is. It's around this side. Let's just put the help window on. Uh, open gate there. There we go. Open the lid. I can get that back turned off. Now all we need to do is connect the tractor to the PTO on the side. And now this is one of those things you do need to be a bit careful because it um, if you're too far too close to it, it'll push the auger over when it connects. So, so I'd say slowly go back and keep trying to attach it. Oh, I need to... There we go. Now we're attached. So you can see it's just slightly pulled it over and then you get a stretch of PTO. Right. I'll leave that there. So hopefully we should be in the right place that we can get it in the bin. Oh, I need to unfold the actual auger. So I get the hopper on. Uh, the one downside to this with the gravity wagon is you do have to get very, very close for it to pick up. And you are at risk of knocking the end of the auger and then knocking it out of place. But <laughs> we'll see if we can get it first time. It, I, last time I used this, it was a little bit tricky to get it to pick up. Well, there we go. So you do have to get quite close. 
Well, there is no collision on the hopper, but there is on the end of the auger, so if you do catch it, it will move. And yeah, we're not quite in the right place, so it's not going in the hole at the top, but it is filling up the the silo. I could do pushing it back a little bit more. Well, that'll be our first 11,000 litres in the silo. So we'll just check. So that's going up now for our stored crop. No, but we will need to get that sell point. Because at the moment we've got nowhere to sell straw or any crops or produce. So the lettuce that we're producing at the greenhouse currently there's nowhere to sell that either. So I'll get the combine finished unloading that. What I might actually do is just bring the combine up here and load it straight into the gravity wagon now it's lined up. Yeah, I'll get that emptied and then we can get on with bailing up the straw. Okay, so all the oats are into the silo. Let's quickly check how much we got. So 13,866 litres in total. So not a huge amount, but it's not the largest of fields. So we'll keep that until we can get the best price for it over winter before we sell it. Just to make the most out of it. So we'll get the baler unfolded. We'll just reset the bell counter as well. So we're on zero. That switched on, lowered down. And away we go with our first straw bales. So this, uh, well, the straw bales will load up onto our trailer and we'll take these to sell because we don't need to keep the straw for anything. Um, I'm going to go with sheep to start with. Um, so we'll just need the hay for those. So we can sell the straw and the straw will be the first income we'll make uh, that won't be from actually selling wood. So, so once we've got all these bailed up, we need to go and get the bale spike. Or I'll go and get the bale spike, then we can get the straw bales loaded up, then we'll take them back down to the store, and then we'll build the self sell everything uh, container, so we can then sell the straw bales there. And then that will give us somewhere to sell the oats over winter as well, as the lettuce when we've got enough of that to make it worth taking. So last row of straw to bale up. Uh, so far we've got eight bales plus one on the back, so there'll be nine. I don't know if we'll get ten. Possibly. It's going to be close. Oh, there we go. 99% on that last bale. Well, there's a tiny little bit of straw there, but I don't think that's going to been 90 litres worth to finish filling this last bale up uh, not quite <laughs> so close we'll get that switched off and we'll drop these bales off so then I'll go up to the store get the bale spike for the skid steer and then we can get these bales all loaded up so oh, so there is only nine bales oh, there. that one just short of being complete so I'll get the bale put away, I'll head up to the store then. Probably just take the pickup, put the skid steer on the back of the flatbed, drive it up there so we can get the bucket and bale spike. Right, while we're down at the store we can get the IBCs loaded up as well. 
So we've got the liquid fertiliser there, bag of seed, and a little bag of fertiliser we can get loaded up. Uh, we'll also buy a IBC of herbicide as well, which we're going to need to spray on our fields. We can get that unfolded. Our straps off. Turn the truck off for a bit. So yeah, we'll just go and buy the herbicide, which I think is around about 3,200 for an IBC. Now 2,400, so a bit cheaper than I thought. Is our liquid fertilizers the 3,200? So we'll get one of these uh, while we're here because we're going to need it soon. And I just need to get the rest of the stuff loaded up. I uh, should have really bought the pallets, uh, the pallet forks down. But we'll try and use the fail spike if we can. And I'll try and get all this loaded up and then we can get back to the farm. And then start getting the straw bales all loaded up. Okay, so let's get these nine straw bales loaded up. And we can get the fields cleared so we can go over it then with a mulcher. That way then, now we've got the rollers as well, we'll be able to get the full 100% yield bonus on the next crop we do. So it's not a huge amount, that extra 5% for doing the mulching and uh, rolling, but it's, you know, an extra 5%. <laughs> uh, one thing I could have done as well, stopping off at the gas station on the way back down to refuel the skid steer, because we are starting to get a little bit low on fuel. Uh, this trailer is one of those aut universal auto load trailers um, which I'm not a fan of when it comes to bales. I don't mind it for pallets but I'd, I'd wish there was a way to disable it so I could just manually stack the bales but if I even try it it'll just take the bales off the uh, spike. So it's a bit of a pointless trying to manually stack it. I may remove that mod until we get a little bit further progressed and maybe we get a few productions that have pallets. Now two more to go. Uh, one right up in that top corner and the one there. We'll get the furthest one first. And then we'll pick up the other one on the way back. And so then we'll head down to the store. We'll build the cell point. So we'll build it up by the store. I don't want to build it down here. Uh, on the land down here. Technically we don't own the land up there but we'll still be able to put it there because I've got the extended build uh, placeables or is it the well the one mod that lets you build anywhere on the map. can't remember which one it is. I don't know if it's extended placeables or the paint and terraform anywhere. One of those two. Right, so last two bales to go on. Oh, knocking the other bales off. So this one doesn't want to go auto load. I don't know if that's because it's not quite on the forks properly. There we go. So that's all nine straw bales on. I'll just park this up out the way so the field's clear then for doing the mulching when we get back. I'll just drop this off here. I'll go and jump back into our pickup. I'll say this trailer I think is like way too big for this truck. I don't know if it's the truck is excessively small. <laughs> it's like a very small pickup or that trailer is a little bit too big. It's difficult to tell which way it is. Maybe a bit of both. The trailer's slightly a bit oversized and the uh, truck's a little bit under scale. Right, so we'll just stop there and we'll jump into build mode. So under production selling points, um, I yeah, I think it's just the one from Schultz modding the sell everywhere or sell everything container. Uh, I don't think I've got any other ones. 
that specifically take like all products so we'll go with this we'll put it down the side of the store for now and this will get moved as we progress we'll get some more cell points built across the map for uh, different things but just to get us started so disable the collisions and we'll drop that down there uh, those weeds are really annoying that they don't disappear uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get rid of them without spending money alright so production again sell points uh, we'll get that in so there we go so we've now got somewhere we can sell straw and our crops as well over winter so we'll just check what the actual current price is oh, wow a whopping <laughs> $33 I am playing on a hard economy so we're never going to get the best prices uh, but it's better than nothing and it'll be our first income from something that's not wood So there we go, $2,759 for those 9 bales, uh, which was 81,000 litres of straw. Uh, it's a, a few more dollars in the bank and it well, covers the cost of the herbicide, uh, maybe a bit of diesel as well. So yeah, next job will be to get the field mulched. So we'll get the batwing mower on the International, we'll switch it over to mulcher and then we'll get the that field mulch ready for sowing with barley. Right, I've switched over the batwing mower so it's in mulch uh, configuration. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll just do the mulching today. Possibly, I don't know. I'm just thinking if I'm running short on time and I don't want to sow the crop because I really want to advance to September. Uh, the trouble is then if we don't roll it and then spray the herbicide before the end of this month it will go to the first growth stage where we won't be able to do either of those and then we will get weeds come through um, and if we spray herbicide then we'll get a reduction on the yield, uh, like the maximum yield which we want to try and avoid doing. And also, obviously, we won't be able to roll it as well. So we'll lose it on that 2.5%. <laughs> uh, well, I'll get this done and I'll see how much uh, time we've got left. Uh, see if we can fit in getting the, those other three jobs done as well. So that's the mulching all done. And another job done. Uh, so what we'll do is, I think we'll sow the barley now, but I'll probably leave the other two jobs until next time. So we'll pick straight up from where we finish off this one. Because uh, I need to get these videos edited and get them rendered for tomorrow. So yeah, I'm run <laughs> really running out of time to get much more done so we'll switch over to the seed drill I think we may need to go up to the store as I mentioned earlier so I'm pretty sure we won't have enough seed we'll use what we've got first just so we not wasting a trip if we don't need to go up so if we can squeeze in here 
I'll get the batwing mow dropped off. Yeah, it's not not the uh, the best of sheds with these poles. So it was nice and cheap, so it gives us somewhere to store our equipment. Uh, it's just a shame I can't change the ground texture just yet. I'll have to leave that until we've got a little bit more money. I don't want to be wasting money on ground texture, which is just pretty much purely decorative. So let's see how much seed we've got left in the drill. Oh. I'm not sure how much is left in that bag. There may, may just about be enough, but I don't know if we'll have enough fertiliser. Yeah, 282 litres of uh, seed and 269 litres of fertiliser. Well, well, we'll go and do as much as we can and then we may have to head up to the store to refill the planter, uh, the seed drill. So we'll get that set to barley. Now, I'm pretty sure barley is one of the crops that you, does use quite a bit of seed. Uh, but then I can never remember which crops which for seed usage. Uh, so we'll try and get as much done as we can. Uh, we may need to just head up to the store to refill. So we'll get this. Oh, we don't need to switch this one. I always forget this one doesn't need switching on. We just need to lower it down. Uh, this fruit cannot be planted in August. Can we not plant? Have I got the wrong crop or oh, I looked at it wrong? Oh, we can't do the barley till September anyway. <laughs> right. So yeah, we can't, we can't do that job till next month anyway. Right, so they, they, that puts pay to that job. So instead, um, I think we'll end it there. Uh, that will be our job for uh, next month then. Uh, we could do canola now, but I don't want to put canola in. I'd rather do barley because uh, barley will be more useful to us for chicken feed. Uh, but canola will just be purely a cash crop. And if we do barley as well, we'll also be able to get the straw from that. So if we do get cows next year, we'll have some uh, straw to bed them. So we'll get that international put back in the shed. And we'll... Uh, leave it there for this episode and what I probably will do is I'm yeah, just trying to think I may edit the time lapse see if, if it comes out a little bit short I may have to just come back in and uh, do something else uh, but we'll see um, but yeah I hope you have enjoyed this episode so we've managed to get our first crop harvested done a bit of straw baling and sold some straw bales we've got some new silos built I've uh, got a new auger as well so we can fill those so a bit more progress done. I say, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, then please do consider subscribing. I've got more Farm Simulator 22 videos coming up and live streams as well on this channel. And if you want to watch the time lapse, oh, there's my doppelganger. If you want to watch the time lapse um, of this video, then check out my main channel, Sim Farmer, if you've not already subscribed to that one. Uh, when you can watch this series in time lapse form and Mazovia as well currently so again a big thank you to everyone that's watched and I'll see you all in the next one thank you again goodbye <laughs>